Doesn't seem like we have any bears here quite yet. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call the Wild and today we're gonna be talking, oh, we have a bear, how exciting. Today we're gonna be talking about the Black Bear Great One grind and how you can change your grind to make it way more efficient. The tips I'm gonna share with you in today's video are absolutely grind changing. They have absolutely changed my grind for the better so that I am finding way more bears in a much shorter amount of time. I have gone from finding 10 to 12 bears in one time rotation, one drink time to close to 30, sometimes more. And I have about 55 zones now. I just keep finding more and more. Now I started my grind with around, I seem to remember, I think I was at about 44 zones. And that was fine. I was totally okay to start my grind there. And I did find more and more zones as I did the grind. I didn't specifically go out looking. I just found them one by one. And the same thing should happen to you. And our level five has vanished on us. Now, one good habit to get into guys, when you do have a setup that's actually close by or on top of one of your black bear zones, I find that the bears can respawn into zones that didn't previously have any males in them. So go and check your zones. And we do have a male here, so you could have a great one. It is worth checking the track. Oh, there he goes. Where you think you're going? What the heck? Looked good to me. No, I can't see him. Oh, there he is. All right. All right, we got them. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, guys, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. And we're going to head straight into it. Let me know in the comments, guys, how your Black Bear Grey One grind is going. And if you are running into any frustrations, are you finding a lot of bears in one rotation or not so much? Now, it is a slower grind than the Whitetail and the Red Deer grind, but... We need to make it as efficient as we possibly can. Now, as I have been going through my grind, guys, I have been learning little by little. And one thing that is making a huge difference for me is as I go through my grind, I am refining my setups. I am going to show you exactly what I have changed and the huge impact it has made on my grind. <laughs> That's another five. Beautiful. How you doing? Not so good anymore. So always be ready. Always be spotting as you're going to pick up your bears because other bears can definitely pop out of the woodwork. And I know I'm going to have a bear back here because I picked up his track and there he is. So we're going to grab him as well. And splat. So three fives, that's pretty sweet. So we're over here by Tabaguch Outpost. Now you'll notice that I am not using my tripod a lot of the time and that is on purpose. I am only using my tripods when I am shooting at lakes where I have more than three male black bears. And the reason is because I am trying to displace hunting pressure. The best zone on I think everybody's map is the one down here by Mule Deer Outpost. And I am going to be talking about this zone in full detail in just a second because changing your setup for this zone is going to be grind changing. Now what I'm trying to do is get rid of the hunting pressure from that zone as fast as I possibly can because I want the males to respawn because in that zone, you're gonna get probably 75% of the bears in one zone. And so you wanna be going back to that zone over and over and over again during one time rotation because that's going to give you the most bang for your buck. Now when you're doing your black bear grind guys, the game does not keep track of black bear kills for you. You have to do that yourself. The game only keeps track of total harvest. I actually use a click counter so I know exactly what I've killed. You can use an electronic click counter. I did start my great one grind around 44 zones. I have about 55 now. You're absolutely fine to start your great one grind. I would say in the low 40s for zones. And you are only worrying about drink zones. Feed and rest zones, don't worry about them, you're good. And there is our third five 260 meter shot with the 300. I love that we can use the 300 on this grind and actually get integrity. Okay, so what I carry with me are two 300s. So the reason I have two is I take four shots, I don't reload, and I cycle through to the second 300, and I have four more shots. So that is very time efficient. Now, you don't have to use the 300 for your grind. You can use any 4 to 8 rifle and you will get integrity. I just find the 300 is the most powerful and I just love it. It's my favorite rifle in the game. If you are looking for the 300, you will find it with the Yukon DLC. 
It is 75,000 in-game dollars, so it is expensive, but it is worth every single penny in my opinion. And then I do carry with me the Virant 22, and that is for alerting bears or finding out if you have them in the brush. And this is very, very effective. Then I have the Argus, Gen Zero Night Vision Scope, and the Hyperion. Now the Gen Zero Scope comes in the high-tech hunting pack. It will get dark before the end of drink time. I am hunting bears in there. 1500 to 2030 drink time. That is the best time to hunt them because that is a long drink time, five to five and a half hours. They do have another drink time in Silver Ridge Peaks, which is 11 till 12 or 1230. And sometimes bears only drink at one or the other. So you do need to check both of them at least every once in a while, but you're never gonna get through all your zones in a one hour drink time. We have the Predator Distress Fawn Collar. That's our bear collar. I do have the first aid kit and scent eliminator. I don't use them too often, but I do carry them. And then we have the Apex View daytime binoculars and the Gen Zero night vision binoculars. And that's it, that's all I carry. Okay, so let's talk about changing our setups. So this lake in particular, guys, this lake is west of the Plains Bison Outpost, and this has been a really great lake for me for black bears. I guess I used to have my tent over here. I used to travel up here and shoot bears out of both of these zones. But the problem was when I shot bears out of one zone, the bears in the other zone, if I had them in both, would spook. So I was really rushing to get all those bears down. So what I've done is I've moved my tent up here. Let's actually go there. I'm gonna mark my first black bear zone. Normally I drop my tents 250 meters away from my zone. Now I do have this one about 300 meters and the reason is simply because I have a hill here and I just can't put my tent any closer. But 250 meters works great and then I drop my tripods about 175 meters away from the zone. Tripods are not showing up on the maps right now guys. It doesn't mean they're not there. It's just a bug from the last update and hopefully that gets fixed very soon. Now, if I do have black bears in the zone, which I don't seem to right now, of course, they're gonna be behind the brush here and coming in from this angle, I have a perfect view on them. So that makes this zone awesome. That works perfectly. And then once I take them down, that is not gonna spook my bears across the lake. And as I come in here, there's a bear, beautiful. Look at everything that I can see here. I have beautiful sight lines. I can just see so much better than from where I was before. Have a good look at your setups, guys. See what you can do to make them more efficient. Play around with them. And having your zone set up perfectly is going to make a huge difference to your Great One grind. Now, over here, guys, at the lake below the Bending Forest, I have changed my setup here as well. I have a tent right up here, northeast corner. So that way, there are often bears here behind the brush. I'm coming in behind them and I can see them clear as day. Once I get down there, I can actually run a little bit over here. I can see right across and take the bears out and then I can fast travel and pick them up. Then I can shoot the bears in this zone and this zone from here. So it's a bit of a tag team, but it works pretty awesome. Okay guys, so we are at the lake right outside of Mule Deer Outpost, but you wanna set up up here. So the actual coordinates to exactly where I have the tree stand for Mule Deer Outpost is right here on the screen, guys. I will leave that there for you for a second. Go ahead and take a shot of it and that is where you wanna put it. When you set up right here, what we've done is dropped a tent and a tree stand. You literally can fast travel to your tent, take five seconds, run over, jump into your tree stand and spot. And this is the jackpot for bears. This is where you're gonna find a bunch of them. And this isn't even that many. A lot of the time I can find eight to 10 male bears here and there usually are a pile of females as well. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna come here several times during your rotation, keep checking to see if you have male bears and kill all of the males out of here. And that is going to bring your kill count each rotation from 10 up to over 30 bears every run. Setting up down here is not gonna do it for you. You need to be up here. Just zero to 300. Now I do prefer the Hyperion 
so that I can see everything. And we're gonna kill as many male bears as we can. We seem to have four right now. But yeah, this is the whole key. Just keep coming back here. You don't necessarily need to clear the hunting pressure. It does help, but just keep coming back here. I would say go to a few zones, come back and check to see if you have males. Go to a few more zones, come back here and kill the males and keep doing that over and over and over again. I would say 75% of your kills are gonna come from this zone alone, maybe even more. Now, I did not figure out this spot a Huge shout out to I buy premiums. He figured this out. So definitely give him a follow on Twitch. And the beauty too is they don't all spook when you start shooting. Like this bear? Oh, it does say fleeing. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I think I shot it. I shot it where I shouldn't have. But yeah, I buy premiums has something like 24 great ones. You really do need to check them out. All right, he's down to 25. And we have four male bodies and a female fleeing. And the other beauty of this zone is you can just see everywhere from up here. Even when they spook, you have such a huge opportunity to keep getting all of them down because you can see so much better from up here. So this is grind changing. Just setting up up here, this is what you want for your grind. This is what changed it for me. It really is. So then you wanna have a tent down here, fast travel down and pick your bears up. So there's a six, 325 meter shot. Now I actually just left my game and came back because I came here and there were no bears. And as soon as I came back, I had male bears here. So if you find absolutely nothing here, leave your game and come back. And what I mean by that is go to the home menu and come back. So there you have it guys. Hopefully that will help you to refine your grind, get it running like a machine, and you can put that great one black bear in your lodge sooner. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video and I hope you learned lots. If you did guys, go ahead and smash that like button. You guys are awesome and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you, Doug. You did good. If you guys would like to learn how to set up and run your Great One grind for Black Bear, here is the Great One Black Bear guide. Take care, guys.